Hello guys, hope you're doing good. Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm going to move away from random reels and all my normal 2022 reviews for a bit. But I can promise next time I will be reviewing Smile, so please make sure to look out for that. But before we get into those sort of videos, I kind of want to just do like a little fun video. Maybe get to know a bit about me a bit. So we all have a guilty pleasure, whether it's any sort of entertainment, movies, music. Hell, I've got a guilty pleasure that I like Dua Lipa. And I ain't embarrassed to say it. But for me, there's always been that one guilty pleasure movie which I always go back to watch every year. Three words. Aliens, Michael Jordan, Looney Tunes. That's right, we're talking about 1996's Space Jam. For me, Space Jam is the biggest guilty pleasure movie ever made. It's got elements that I love. I love aliens. I love basketball, so I like Michael Jordan. I'm a big fan of the Looney Tunes. This film has got around a 43% on Rotten Tomatoes. Scrap that. 43%? Give it one trillion. This film is a masterpiece. It's a gift from the heavens. No one can ever make this film again. You stay away. We're not going to talk about its crappy sequel. That's for another day. Bomb that movie. Nuke it. Hate that movie. We're going to talk about the original 90s classic today. So it's pretty funny how this film actually came to be. Basically in the 90s, Nike decided to do a few adverts to promote their new sneakers with Michael Jordan mixed in with the Looney Tunes for some reason. Hey Jordan, and hey Jordan. What'd you expect? You're my friend? Nice shot. Nice shot. And because Warner Brothers loves its money, they decide to make a movie out of it for no reason. And everyone back there was thinking, oh, this is going to be horrible. It's going to be one or another one of your stupid marketing gimmicks. But when you actually watch it, it does kind of work. Yes, it does have its usual sports cliches. I 100% get that. But to be honest, this movie knows it's stupid. And it takes its time to embrace it. It has everything you expect from it. The basic of the plot is there's an alien who runs a giant amusement park and it's failing and he wants to get the Looney Tunes to be their newest attraction. But the Looney Tunes say they need to give them a chance to defend themselves so they challenge them to a basketball game. So the aliens steal the talent from all the biggest 90s basketball players and the Looney Tunes must ask the help of Michael Jordan to win the game. It's a pretty simple concept and it works. It works for this sort of movie. It's got everything you need. Basketball, usual Looney Tunes slapstick humour, and just random funny jokes. I say, apart from the Looney Tunes, whose voice cast is always great, by the way, everyone else ain't doing the best job, but it works in a campy film like this. All things considered, Michael Jordan, for an athlete becoming an actor, for his first time, I actually think he did a decent job. I mean, I'm not expecting Oscar-worthy stuff, and I wasn't expecting that from LeBron James in the second film. But I will say Michael Jordan was trying, and he did actually do a decent job, actually. For some reason, Bill Murray is in this film. <laughs> you, you could tell he don't really give a crap. Okay, little fella. You my friend? Or are you my enemy? You are my friend, right? You are my ally. You are my associate, my personal assistant. You are my weapon. You are leaving. But, again, it, it just works. Because, as I said, this movie just doesn't take itself seriously. It knows it's dumb and a giant advertisement. But unlike the second movie, this film does not shove down movie reference down your throat 24-7. It does have some promotional material. It's got Nike shoes. It's promoting Warner Brothers. It's like a big ego. But it doesn't helm the story. It's not there just thrown in there for no reason. It's just the centre of a small joke. And it works. And the basketball game at the end works. It's funny. It's got usual Looney Tunes slapstick humour. And some other funny jokes from Michael Jordan and Bill Murray just not acting his arse off. And it just works for this sort of film. It works very well. And it is very satisfying at the end. But the biggest positive this film has is the music. This is some of the most 90s music ever. The Space Jam theme tune. I have it on my Spotify playlist. And again... I'm not embarrassed to say that. I'm obviously not going to play it for you because it is copyrighted, but I will leave a link to the song down in the description because this is a banger. This is a 90s classic. This is number one. Put it at number one, guys. Forget all this flipping 
Ed Sheeran crap nowadays. Get this Space Jam theme tune going. The movie also does a pretty decent job of integrating Michael Jordan's later life when he tries to get into baseball because of his father. You know, it was done very well because they didn't know his baseball career wasn't really the best. And this movie does tell that very well in a jokey way. Overall, Space Jam is not a good movie. I don't care, though. I have fun with it. This is honestly what this film just needed to be. It knows it's a dumb advertisement movie. It knows it's dumb story-wise, but it embraces it and just knows it's dumb and plays it safe. It's got Looney Tunes humour, which I always find a treat. It's got bad acting, which I really love in this sort of film. It's got a simple story which works, does a good job at portraying Michael Jordan's career, and the music just slaps. That intro scene, that is how you start a film. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You need to watch that intro. People, if you haven't seen Space Jam, watch it. You will thank me later because it is a banger of a film that is a cult classic and is a gift from God. But whatever you do, stay away from this crap. You, you don't need to see this. This is this here. This is this is pure garbage. In fact, let me know in the comments if you want me to review that movie because I will literally stab it ten trillion times because I hate that movie. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you want me to do these little different videos. I just like to take a break from the usual formula what I usually do sometimes and just have a bit of fun on the channel. That's why I created this. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to have a good day and see you later.